Hi, I'm Paulie, and welcome to General Gaming's Top 5. Each week, we look at five trending news stories in the world of video gaming. You can watch last week's episode and find links from today's story in the description section down below. At number five this week, Bethesda is releasing Doom VFR on December the 1st. Returning to Mars to fight off a demonic invasion, Doom VFR has been completely rewritten and fans won't be disappointed with the fast paced and brutal gameplay. A huge improvement on the original, players can fully interact with their environment and experience Doom like never before. For younger viewers, Doom was originally released in 1993 on MS-DOS and was revolutionary for its time. Doom VFR is available on either PlayStation 4 or PC and the HTC Vive VR headset. Next at number 4 is another Bethesda release with Fallout 4 VR on December the 12th. The Fallout series started in 1997 with the most recent release, Fallout 4, being released in December of 2015. Already an award winning game, the VR edition contains the core of Fallout 4 plus new combat, crafting and building systems. Fallout 4 VR is only available on the PC with the HTC Vive VR headset. Coming in at number 3 this week, FIFA, the international body that governs football aka soccer, has announced plans to launch the E-World Cup in 2018. The first FIFA Interactive World Cup was in 2014 and today you can find thousands of players online. FIFA also introduced the Ultimate Championship Series just last year. With esports becoming a billion dollar industry and its growing popularity, it may not be too long before we see esports in the Olympics. Next at number two, Razer, the manufacturers of precision keyboards, mice and headsets for gamers, may be releasing a mobile phone. It's rumoured that the phone will have a 5.72 inch display, 120 hertz refresh rate and sound pods designed by THX and Dolby. With specs similar to a desktop computer, the quad-core CPU will be joined by 8GB of RAM, a 4000 milliamp battery for plenty of power and connect to 4G networks. This week at number one. It's no secret that I've been an Apple enthusiast for almost 30 years now. However, when it comes to gaming, Apple users are often forgotten. While the integration of Microsoft compatible hardware has enabled Apple users to run Windows on their Apple using Boot Camp, it's often frustrating to have to log out of one machine into another, let alone not use the Apple user interface. While still in beta testing, GeForce Now enables Apple users to play PC Windows games inside OS X. With GeForce Now, you can play many of the games in your existing Steam library. Visit the GeForce Now site to learn more and see if your Apple is compatible. Well, that's a top five trending news stories for this week in video gaming. We'll see you next time. Be sure to subscribe and thank you again for watching.